Lovely. Okay, so here's your student loans. The highest rate is 5%, so these aren't like death by any means. They range from 3 to 5%. I do not know the total balance on your student loans, though. I think it's about 27000 Kill me. Yeah, right? Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. What did you do? What did you do? I you're just to... you're doing little acting things. What, the, what did you go to school for? <laughs> I went to Syracuse University in upstate New York for mm -hmm. essentially sports journalism, sports yeah. television. I wanted to be Aaron Andrews. You like sports? Um, honestly, no. I think I just got into sports because my dad liked sports. Their football team can sometimes perform. Okay. I was all about basketball. Oh, I don't follow basketball. Yeah. I liked to make out with the walk-on players, and I dated the water boy one year, and that was fun. But then I worked for Fox Sports after college. That wasn't going to help me pay off any debt than paying people like, what, 18 an hour? I guess hour? I should have been a walk-on player because my hinge is not doing me. You need justice. <laughs> I'll audit your hinge in exchange. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been through that. It wasn't great. Okay. <laughs> No. What? No. You what? lied earlier. You lied earlier. When? You're behind on your student loans. You're you're not on a zero. You're not on a zero dollar thing. Can I see that? You're behind. You owe two hundred whatever. You're behind on it. But it said forbearance online. I don't know. I don't know. You maybe you're in forbearance and you're just. Not, oh, when did you see in forbearance? When did you see that? I was on the web page. When? I logged in. When? Two days ago. Okay. Because I thought maybe you were seeing, because uh, uh, everyone was on forbearance throughout COVID. Oh, I, okay, I don't okay, know. Okay, okay. You logged in to Mohila, Mohela, whatever. Mm. I was just assuming because I'm on the Medicaid and the food stamps and I saw forbearance and I was like, oh, they're hip. They, I didn't need to tell well, them I don't know. No, no, because yeah, you, usually to be on forbearance, continued forbearance, you'd have to go on there and be like, I'm bad. I need to be on forbearance mm -hmm. uh, or just be like, yo, I'm making no money. I need to switch my thing to an income base, which, okay. You think maybe. they'll listen to my stories about the systems of oppression in this world? Just kidding. I will do this today. I will call. Yeah. Cause you're past due 287 and the minimum monthly payment is 200 days. Okay. So. I'll actually do this tomorrow because I was going to do some plant medicine today to get my mind right after talking to you. I'm Does that, that just mean side. smoke or like what? Like the other plant medicine. Um, they grow in the ground. Okay. Fungus. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You and Boogie. So much in common. <laughs> You're funny. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I have your shirt? Sure. Yes. I wore it because there was no clean shirt, so. Yeah, I haven't cleaned this rabbit fur that I shouldn't have bought. We have a new balance on this card of 1758 So this is your Amazon Chase card. Yeah, you having Amazon access got to me. one they click got shopping. Me. Yeah. They gave me like a ten dollar discount or something, and I was like, Yeah, I'll sign up for debt. Five is the minimum <laughs> monthly payment. No purchases. Seven dollars. Oh, we made a okay, come on. Come on. You made a payment. Come on. Oh, thank you. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I needed that high five. <laughs> Absolutely. We made a payment and you're below the credit limit. That's great. Thirty-eight dollars of interest charge. That sucks. Uh, Every month. Yeah. Yeah. Four hundred thirty-eight stolen from you this year so far. Twenty-eight dollars of fees. We must have missed a payment at some point. It's all, it's all gonna be paid off. It's all gonna be paid off. The money's on its way. The money's on its way. You you have abundant songs you sing to yourself at night. No, I go make money. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good burn. Holy. Sh that's what I'm gonna hear when I go to what bed tonight. What is this? No, is, I make money. What is your life? Is, is it the the uh, what? Wear your pajamas on the bottom bunk, jump, jump like five times, and you get a <laughs> snow day tomorrow. That's not how this works. I know my my life has been. Snow a lot day of happens life. when uh oh snow comes. You can't manifest it by jumping <laughs> on a bed. The money comes is, when you go get it, not when you go. Yes. Oh, oh, oh gosh, money's coming. Oh, yes. I hope money's coming. What is that? The song you sang? <laughs> is that what I do now? It's a little cuter than that but i'm thinking of getting i'm thinking i'm thinking of getting a tesla but i don't really want to spend money on it oh let's get a tesla i hope i get a tesla <laughs> okay, oh well, my like, goodness get that was what money was from a tree give yes. me the tesla like visualize the tesla okay it's or maybe its i just make an extra episode yeah i won't lie that's how it was that's completely how it was for like a year. I would have all these people telling me like, you're going to do big things. Like you're going to help so many people. And I internalized that 
And I was like, okay, well then future sounds set to me in the present. Let's just continue being comfortable. Let's Comfortable. Sit you're in. comfortable. You're comfortable with this. I'd be freaking oh, out every second of my life. For that too. When you're raised in a childhood home that is chaotic, and you only know like that scary discomfort as what do you a mean? child. I was getting foreclosure notices on my house as a child. Hmm. When I was born, my dad was a gas station clerk and my mom was like a receptionist at like an eye place or something like that. They didn't make money. They didn't make money. We couldn't go out to eat. We couldn't really do things. They borrowed, they borrowed money to make it feel like I was middle class. Mm -hmm. But that's why I became passionate about personal finance. Well, let's not mm -hmm. use, uh, again, things outside of our control, especially assault or anything like that. Yes, a billion percent. But let's use things we've learned in the past if we grew up in a dysfunctional household to be like, Oh, maybe I don't want my household in the future to be dysfunctional. Why was it yeah. dysfunctional? These reasons. Let's not be that. Foreclosure notices on the house. I don't want that. What caused it? I'm not going to do that. Yes, that's beautiful. You were able to see what you didn't want. And then you worked but towards you a different ending. In my own way, yeah, I'm doing the work to not be like essentially how my childhood home was. So yeah. my inner work is making sure that when I interact with people, they feel loved, they feel seen, they feel heard. And so okay. the thing is growing up, I was never talked to about money. If I ever sure. asked how yeah. much something cost, I was yelled at and I was called stupid and all this other. Well, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> other stuff. But yeah. So I guess also being raised in scarcity mindset, mm -hmm. it's been really weird because I'm trying to choose on a daily basis abundance. Like I'll, I'll joke with you about abundance and manifestation, but, you but know it's what real, real abundance is actually having it in the bank. Yeah. Being able to do it, man, because yeah. what you're doing is what you're doing is you're actually pushing off real abundance. You're preventing it by just being in a hole. That's going to be harder and harder to dig out of the longer and longer you go mm -hmm. and allow yourself to be in it, man. If I can get you to a point where you're budgeting, where we're bringing in solid income in a job that we're feeling passionate about for doing that, you're abundant on the nine to five. You're abundant on what you're doing afterwards, where you're putting money. It yeah. doesn't have to be a suffering type thing. No. But right now you're kicking the can down the road and you're preventing yeah. actual abundance. The frustration and it goes back to the beginning of not wanting to participate in a capitalistic society. It's like- But you don't have a choice. Exactly. If I want to live here and I want to change this country, I have to participate in capitalism so I can change it from the inside out. So what the dream has been, and I know it's coming to fruition, is I'm going to have a mother show just like okay. you and it's going to help with I hope people. So. I hope but so. I have to do both. I have to Link do that in the shit description I've been below. avoiding. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. But here I am actually now realizing, okay, Amber, you can help other people, but you have to help yourself first. And I've been avoiding that. Every time I'm feeling lonely or scared or anxious, I go online and I'll post a story yeah. telling my story, hoping that it helps somebody else. But then I'm avoiding taking care of myself. And then I try to get other people to, I try to get my partner to take care of me. In the past, it was random sugar daddies. Sometimes it's my dad. Sometimes it's, the list can go on. Yeah. So I, for sure, Z's, do not want to live like this anymore. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. And it, ah, it feels scary but I think it's also excitement. But I know, I know, I know that, what would you say, in your opinion, would you say like 20 hours a week on the passion work and then 20 hours a week on the money-making work? No, or no, what no, do you no. think? It's, if the passion brings in the money, then we're all in on the money for surgeries. It will. But if, well, okay. I hope so. I hope so. We can't, we're not gambling, okay? We're not gambling. <laughs> we're adults. We live in reality. <laughs>